This is one of those pretty advanced cataract allowed to go in for a phacolytic reaction and secondary glaucoma. An elderly lady and so I have decided to go ahead and do an transconjunctival SICS rather than a phaco because I have no idea and I suspect that the zonules will be extremely weak. So after putting in my transconjunctival incision with my side port blade, I go ahead with the help of my assistant uh, irrigating that area, I uh, dissect out a sclerocornial tunnel with my crescent blade. Uh, this particular step, this transconjunctival uh, SICS, although it has a learning curve, post-operatively it has such good results that once you start doing this, you will just opt for this every time you can do it. So, very carefully I am dissecting out the tunnel and everything is going on well. There will be these jerky moments now and then. Uh, because understand that this is an extremely old lady with not such a good great presentation of a cataract so but by and large she is extremely cooperative so after doing the uh, dissection of the tunnel I go ahead and do my side put incision 90 degrees away and enter the chamber with my keratome I then wash off all the liquid cortex just to assess what is going on and I haven't shown here, I have put in HPMC before I put in the tripan glue. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I am planning to do only a very small rexus and make relaxing incisions. But when I start my rexus, I notice that the whole lens is moving and this is not a good sign. Shows that the zonules are extremely weak. And I am hoping I can get away with a small rexus and then make the relaxing incisions. So far, it seems to be going okay. Doesn't seem to be pulling the whole. Uh, although now and then it does give that impression. Uh, the whole bag is being pulled, but I have managed to complete the 2 mm or 3 mm rexus. Got what you mean? And now I'm planning to do the relaxing incisions by pushing the iris away, and that iris keeps springing back and also the cortex is making it difficult for me to see I'm trying to make at least four relaxing incisions and frankly speaking i really do not know whether i am making any headway about making those relaxing cuts so this is very tricky because if you don't have the relaxing cuts and you try to deliver this nucleus you will become intracapsular so once again I put in HPMC, again try to make the cuts, but you can see the whole lens is moving with the bag almost. So I am not very sure and look, I can't see any cut. You may think you are cutting, but I doubt. So I decide it is better to go ahead and do the cutting with my scissors rather than with the cystitone and even that I am having a tough time to assess whether the jaws of the scissors are on either side of the capsule. I can imagine it is but it may not be. I even try the bimanual procedure to do these cuts but I, I just cannot be sure that the cuts I test it with both my dialers but my dialer seems to be slipping above the capsule rather than into the capsular bag. So I give up. I decide I need to have a better visual field. I go and put in some more side port incisions to place my iris hooks. And this is how you do the 12 o'clock uh, incision for the uh, iris hook. So now I have got a very clear picture and it's very easy for me now to make the relaxing cuts. And as you can see, I've hardly done any relaxing cut before. And it's a good thing I did not attempt to uh, deliver the nucleus. Also, there is no way I can do a rexus in this case because the bag is loose. And if I try to do a rexus, pulling on that, 
capsule will bring out the entire bag in my hands. Once I have done enough relaxing cuts, I take both my dialers, literally pick out this nucleus and bring it out, sandwich it and bring it out of the eye. Minimal posterior scleral pressure has also been applied. Rotate the nucleus out. And now look, when I am actually aspirating the cortex, see how loose that bag is. I am even scared to aspirate, lest I get the bag into my port. So I come out, put in some HPMC, stabilize this bag. I am just pushing down that capsule there to give me some space. I plan to put my PMMIL, at least the haptics into the sulcus. The optic I will not have much control on. It can slip into the sulcus, it can slip into the bag. But at least the haptics I am planning to put it into the sulcus. And I have managed that pretty successfully. As you can see, the optic has already gone into the bag. But the haptic is well in the sulcus. Just trying to bring the optic over that capsule, but actually it's futile. It will keep slipping back. You can do all that you want, but it's going to do whatever it wants. So then finally I remove all the iris hooks, remove the HPMC and all the cortex. I in fact put in tricot within the chamber and wash it off which I haven't shown in the video and finally I pull the iris back mechanically with the uh, Sensky hook over the eye wall. It was actually after this step that I put in the tricot but I haven't recorded I mean I haven't shown that in my recording. Finally, I put in some intracameral antibiotic, hydrate the parasynthesis and close shop. Thank you so much for watching this video.